Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM reject handling and parallel table. So we know that uh, so whenever we create a base object table, so there is always one or more staging table associated with it. So in this example, for example, in the screen, this is the MDM hub console. We have the client as a base object and it has one staging table that is stg underscore client so each staging table have supporting table tables such as prl table that is also called as previous landing table raw table that is audit table audit trail table and the reject table for the rejected record along with these three there is one more table called as opl table which actually used for the CPAP calls. So in today's session we will see a little more details about the reject record handling and what is the role of the previous landing table during the reject record handling. So let's start on that. So let's start the today's session that is we are going to see the reject table a reject record handling and the role of the PRL table. So before that uh, going to the actual process how we are going to implement or how we are going to handle the reject record we should know how the Informatica MDM treat those rejected records. So records get rejected during the stage process as well as during the load process. So during the stage process all the records are retrieved from the landing table and push into the corresponding staging table. So anything happens. So during this process, there are records are first placed into the previous landing table, and then it is sent sent to the cleanse engine. And after processing uh, by the cleanse engine, it is pushed push into the staging table. So what this cleanse engine do? It actually applies some rules and check the record is valid or not. So before into inserting into the stage of stage table. So cleanse engine determine whether the record is valid or not. If it is not valid, then such an invalid record are inserted into the reject table. So that is the process during which the record got rejected. So what happened during the load process? The load process retrieves all the records from the staging table for the during the load uh, while we run the load process. Then it applies the lookup process. So it actually take a uh, check the lookups are correctly working or not if lookups are failing that means record are need to be rejected because lookups are not properly working for that given records in that case the record which are got rejected due to the lookup failure those rejected record will be inserted into the reject table which is created during the stage table the name of the reject table is is the name of staging table and appended with the underscore reg. So these are the two processes during which the records get rejected. Then how we are going to handle a such a rejected record? So there are two ways we can handle. The first is we can define one custom process which will automatically pull the records and process the record which are available into the reject table or the data steward or the business people from that company or the organization will manually go into the reject table and rectify those records and process the records. So we will more concentrate on the custom reject process, custom record, custom reject record processing. So this is the diagram which will show the various steps or various things happen during this stage and the load process. So the green color is the stage process, the load process is in blue. The yellow process actually indicates here it is a reject process handling. Then we have the like red color which is manual handling, manual rectifying the records and the purple color for the defining some custom process that is we are going to use the ETL process for that. So there are several ways. So for during the first step the records will be pulled from the landing table and will be 
push into the staging table to, by the stage process. So what the stage process does, the very first thing it does is it pulls all the record and it push uh, what are the record which are pulled from the landing table and push into the previous landing table. So PRL table is very first populated before populating the staging table. So once the PRL is populated then it will apply some what are the mapping we, we configure and what are the rules like the null columns how we are going to treat means whether null column record we are going to reject all of that. So what are the reject criteria is there like if the date of birth is in future date or some date contains not null values kind of criteria. So those criteria satisfied then the record is rejected and the record, rejected record will be pushed into the reject table. Only the valid records will be pushed into the staging table. Now the PRL table is populated, rejected table is get populated and staging table also get populated. So our more concern is about the reject table, what we are going to do with the record with, from the reject table. So let's see what, hap what happens during the load process. During the load process, record will be pulled from the staging table. It will apply the, uh, the lookup so that, for example, there is parent and child relationship. And then uh, we make sure the uh, parent should present first and then we are going to insert the child so that kind of lookup or if you have the PQ source lookup then we can that lookup will be get applied and if the lookup fails the records will be rejected and the reject table will be get populated only valid record will be inserted into the base object now let's see what happens with this reject table so what it um, what uh, so this is the custom process ETL handling uh, reject handling ETL process that will pull all the records from the reject table or we can manually push in all the records from the reject table into the temporary table that will be act as a source to the ETL process then it will uh, the ETL process will the uh, what it will do so it will first retrieve the record from the reject table Along with that, based on the record primary key, which are available into the reject table, which will delete the record from the previous landing table. It is very important step during the reject record handling. We need to clear the previous landing table for those records which are got rejected. So that will be taken care by the previous uh, ETL process. Uh, means we have to configure that ETL process level to delete the record uh, which, uh, using the primary key of the re rejected record. Once you delete the PR, PRL table for those records, then we have, um, then actually we push the records into the landing table during the ETL job. So first it will, um, ETL job will pull the records and push into the temporary table and it will fade the record one by one and it will delete the PR, previous landing table. Once it is deleted, the record will be pushed into the landing table. So this is the way the actually the rejected record will be processed. Then again the cycle will go, stage will process, landing will process. Suppose if we don't want to process the ETL job to process the re re uh, record again. So instead of we have the manual process. So what this manual process will do? So the, the normal way like uh, ETL process or the any other process will pull the record from the reject table and populate into a temporary table along with that it will delete the record from the previous landing table once it is done the data steward or the manu uh, business person will come and look over the, all the records from this temporary table it will correct that person will correct those records as per the reason which is uh, available in the reject table for example um, the assertion should present or it should not be null value then he will populate all those record with the what are the given requirement once the record got corrected or rectified it will process uh, means actually the records will be directly processed into the base object table so for example if record got failed because of the lookup failure then he uh, the data server will actually configure the lookups and will run again the jobs. 
so this is the way the rejected record will be processed by the two ways by the using the etl process or by the manual intervention i hope this uh, this session is helpful for you so the play, uh, prl table plays a very vital role in this reject uh, process reject record processing we know that the prl table is used for the delta detection but it is also used for the reject record processing thank you for watching the video if you have any questions you can mention in the video below thank you